Hello everyone. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain how screen sets in Logic Pro work. So for the types of projects that I do, um, I have to get a little surgical. Uh, they require an in-depth analysis and um, I have to use different screens in order to figure out how that's going to work exactly. I'll give you an example here. So let's just say if I want to navigate to my mixer. Well, at the push of a button, I can trigger my mixer. Same difference goes for what else do I have here? My piano roll and even my notation editor. I have one set up for my sequencer as well. So uh, how is this being accomplished? Well, first things first, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a duplicate, uh, excuse me, I'm going to duplicate the uh, screen set that I'm on right now by clicking the number one and clicking duplicate. Um, once I click duplicate all I have to do is name my screen set so I'll call this one uh, audio editor all right so now that that's done all I have to do from this point is open my audio editor window from the window drop-down once the audio editor is open, what I'll do from here is I'll, uh, so what this is doing is it's opening the audio editor, but behind the audio editor is my main page. I'll just close that out because I won't need that for this particular screen set. Um, let's expand that. And now at the push of a button, I can navigate back to screen set number one. And if I press number six, I can navigate to my audio editor just as I would anything else. This particular methodology is extremely helpful when it comes down to um, precision productions, precision productions rather, <laughs> I can't talk tonight, but either which way, um, I'm hoping that that was helpful to you guys. Um, give it a shot, try it. Uh, it's definitely made my workflow a lot easier, um, definitely made it um, more efficient. I'll definitely go so far as to say that and um, nothing beats efficiency. All right. So if you guys have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments and I'll talk to you later. Thank you.